Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent scentsy consultant with Happily Scented Life. And I'm back today with a subscriber suggested video. Um, so in the comment section, one of you guys suggested that I do like my top like favorites for fall. So I did one previously, I think either last year or the year before. It was when my channel was fairly new, but my opinions have definitely changed since then. And what I wanted to do this time around is I picked, I think there's 30 in this basket, okay? And what I did was I picked 20 from the current catalog and or LTOs that you can currently get right now as I'm filming this. Um, and then the other 10 are my honorable mentions from previously retired scents that I feel are very fall worthy and some of my favorites. So that way I have a mix in here. We've got some from the catalog that you can purchase and some that are retired, but then if they come around again, like in an LTO or bring back my bar, then you guys have an idea of what that particular scent smells like, um, how I, you know, have experienced it and things like that. Okay, so, and I was smart and I wrote down scent notes. Yeah, I came prepared for this video. Most of them, like, I do know the scent notes, but some of the newer ones, I'm like, eh, and it's like one I forget. So, we're going to go over the ones that are currently available and then we'll go over the honorable mentions um, that are retired. So first up, and this is in no particular order, like this isn't like one to 20. It, this is just what I am loving this current fall season of 2024. So the September scent of the month for 2024, Spooky But Sweet. This one is Nutmeg Smoked Maple Syrup and Caramelized Vanilla Sugar. When I first warmed this, when it came out, it literally blew my mind. I'm not one for heavy confectionery sugary scents. Like, give me candy. I can enjoy it in small doses. Scary good. I really wasn't a fan of that one. But this one is like the best of both worlds. And then you add in this smoked maple. No, it's, it's so divine. I absolutely love it. And it is a beast of a performer. Um, I think I did it in my living room here. And it performed for multiple days. Stayed at a consistent strength. I really, really enjoyed this one. So I definitely think if you are the type of person that likes bakery. But then also likes those confectionery, caramelized, sugary scents. Then you're definitely going to enjoy Spooky But Sweet. And I would highly recommend picking it up this fall season. Since it is an LTO, it's not going to be available forever. Um, we probably have like another month or two before it's on the chopping block. Um, so I would definitely suggest to either stock up or club it. Um, so that way you can enjoy it how you see fit. So that is that one. Another one is Cedar Cider. I've always enjoyed Cedar Cider. It has red apples, cinnamon sticks, vanilla bean, and white cedar. Now, it's very similar to like Falling Apples and Hemingway because it has those woodsy notes with like the rich dark apples. But this one, it's just got a cider note that hits just right. And I think that's the difference between this one and like Hemingway as that there's a cider note in here that I really, really enjoy. It's a decent performer. I love warming this late fall and sometimes even into early winter. So this is definitely like a scent that I double up seasons on, but I really enjoy it. It's really good. If you love apple scents, cider scents, apple woodsy scents, you're really going to enjoy this one. And it is a great performer. So that is one that I continuously enjoy and still enjoy this season. Uh, let's see. One from last year that I'm still enjoying is Cranberry and Cardamom. So this was a new release last fall, 23. And then they did return it this year. It's Bold Cherry, White Cranberry, and Cardamom. I really like this one because there's like hardly any spice. The Cardamom brings like a warmth and coziness to the scent. But to me, it's just saturated cherries and cranberries. Smells like liquid cranberry or cherry jello. 
Mm, you could blend this with so many different things. You could blend it with like a tree scent with like basic bakery scents like crumb top or sugar cookie or vanilla bean buttercream and really play up um, the profile on this. It's a medium performer, but usually with fruity saturated scents, you don't get longevity, but you do get strength. So that's where this kind of um, is a power play. But you can get it now, and I would highly recommend it if you like cranberry, if you like cherry without spice. If you are a fruity lover and miss having those, like, array of fruity scents to choose from, because in the summertime we have, like, a plethora of them, this is a definitely good option for fall and winter. Or should I should just say fall? We're just going to talk about fall this time. <laughs> um, this is no surprise to anybody around the campfire. I mean, I can't go fall without around the campfire. Mountain air, fresh fallen wood, and smoky embers. You can't go wrong with it. It's just this sweet campfire scent that is just perfection. I have not found another one by any other vendor that I like as much as around the campfire. And this has mixing potential. You can warm it by itself. It ages beautifully. It gets stronger and stronger and stronger as it sits so this is definitely one that you can tuck away and just warm seasonally and you're still going to get amazing performance so definitely love around the campfire one from the gordy goodness collection that i think might i'm hoping they keep it around another month but because it was available in august i'm pretty sure it's probably going to end the end of this month but we won't know until thursday when they drop the news announcement but there were several in that collection that I did enjoy, and one of those is Harlow Harvest. Um, Harlow Harvest is smoked embers, vanilla beans, and carved pumpkin. For me, this just gives me, like, ghostly greetings vibes. It's got a little bit of, like, woodiness, like, almost like satin sheets, but not quite. And then it's just got, like, this rich, dark, sultry pumpkin note. And the embers in here are very lovely. I think this is going to age even better. Um, I warmed it when I initially got the collection and loved the performance. I've warmed it again since then and the performance was even more. So I think as, because it has a vanilla base, I think it's just going to keep aging beautifully. So it's definitely one that I want to stock up on and club. But I've been really enjoying this one this season. And it kind of gives me like an alternative to around the campfire. Like I don't have to continuously warm around the campfire if I want a smoky, smoky embery campfire note. Because you got the embers in Hollow Harvest. So it kind of gives me an alternative to switch up during the fall season. Salted Caramel Toffee. Ugh, this one's been the catalog for several years i continuously enjoy it it's salted caramel toffee and butterscotch it's like the best of both worlds mm, it's so good there's nothing more nothing less to it it's just caramel and toffee and butterscotch but it's so good it smells like a werther's original to me and i love mixing it with multiple things but it's not fall without my salted caramel toffee so had to mention that one White Pumpkin and Driftwood. This was from the Harvest Collection last year, and they did return it this year in our catalog. It's White Pumpkin, Driftwood, White Cardamom, and Warm Solar Amber. I enjoyed the scent so much last year, but I could not get it to perform. What I discovered, and I've talked about this also on my channel, is that this bar, if you let it sit for an entire year, at least in my opinion, in my experience, it ages to the point where I get performance out of it. So I'm super happy that I was able to finally get performance because it's such a lovely scent. It's like a deeply spiced pumpkin cologne. If, if Jack Skeleton from Nightmare Before Christmas had a cologne, this is what he would smell like. I absolutely adore it. And I'm so glad that it's available in the catalog. You can also get this in pods. I've not tried it in pods yet, but I'm sure the pods perform fantastic. So that's another one that I've been enjoying. One of our new releases of this fall season, gingerbread pecan waffles. Um, gingerbread waffles, molasses, and roasted pecan. This one, it's not the greatest performer like it's not a top performer or like a beast doesn't throw you know 
that that well like not like a stellar performer it's a medium performer but this bar gives me nostalgia and that's why i continuously enjoy warming it this fall season it reminds me of the old-fashioned molasses cookies that i used to eat with my grandmother and my great-grandmother and then also the pecan note in here reminds me of a beloved bar from scentsy called central park pralines um so that nutty note in here is very similar to that bar and I absolutely love Central Park Praline. So this kind of gives me my Central Park Praline like fix, but then also gives me a childhood memory with the with the old fashioned molasses cookies. So yeah, love this one. So that is gingerbread pecan waffles. Also, another new release from our fall catalog is brown butter pumpkin. This one is seasonal spice melted butter, brown sugar, and pumpkin. So it's just a bakery slash spicy pumpkin scent you definitely get a lot of melted butter and a lot of the brown sugar and then the pumpkins kind of like in the in the back i really enjoy it because it doesn't have a lot of spice so if you're not particularly a fan of pumpkin and spice and just like pumpkin scents without the spice then this is a really good one to try i feel like with age it's going to get stronger too because there is another scent um, called Warm Pumpkin Drizzle that also has like butter and pumpkin notes to it and that ages stronger and stronger as it sits so I think that might be similar to this as well but I've been enjoying the warm I mean the brown butter pumpkin so I would definitely recommend it this fall season. Pumpkin Sticky Bun from the Gordy Goodness Collection Rich Pumpkin Pecans and Coconut Crumb. Um, I don't get any coconut crime in here. What I get is deep, dark, rich caramel and just roasted pumpkin. It is delectable. Um, it's got a heavier caramel note, in my opinion, than salted caramel toffee. So it's basically like a, <laughs> like a salted caramel, like, yeah, it's like a salted caramel candy, but then it's got like pumpkin, like with it. It's so good. It performs amazing. Like I get a full day, but it's like an eight, nine out of 10. I'm still trying to decide if I like it more than brown butter pumpkin because they're both pumpkin scents that don't have spice, but they do have a lot of like gourmand qualities. Like this one has a lot of butter and brown sugar. This one, I'm getting the caramel note with it. So I'm still trying to decide if I like both if I like one over the other, but so far this fall season, I've been enjoying both of them. <clears throat> Can't be fall without winter berry apple tea. This one has winter tea, cranberry, apple, and honey. It's a scentsy favorite of mine. It's a scentsy stable. I will be heartbroken when this is finally removed from the catalog, but with scentsy club, I can continuously club it after every fall catalog and secure it in my club and get it as long as I keep it in there. It's just a nice fruity herbal winter tea. So comfy and cozy. It's about a dayer for performance, but I enjoy it. So I definitely try to warm that when I'm like working from home. From our harvest collection this year, Sparkling Spice Citrus. I really enjoyed this bar. The performance is underwhelming, at least in my opinion, but I've had, I've heard mixed reviews. So some people are getting really good performance. Other people like myself didn't get the greatest performance. But it's sparkling mandarin, black currant, raw sugar cane, and clove. And I thought I was not going to like this one because of the black currant. Because I typically don't like black currant with a citrus. But I think the raw sugar cane and the sweet like mandarin in here. Or I shouldn't say mandarin. Yeah, sparkling mandarin it kind of dilutes that black currant. It is such a vibrant, fresh, happy orange scent without any fall spice. So if you like orange scents like for the fall, but don't particularly like the spice that's usually added to them, this is definitely a great one and I've been enjoying it. Still need to warm it a couple more times to determine if I would like to club it before the collection ends, but I've been enjoying it so far. Another new release from our fall catalog is Vanilla Amber. This one is Rich Vanilla Cream, Sweet Rum, and Golden Amber. It is just divine. It is the best body care, edible, yummy vanilla that you can ask for. 
this is vanilla done right i am so appreciative that sensi finally gave us another like um gourmand decadent vanilla because vanilla bean buttercream i absolutely love it but sometimes it gets tiring warming that over and over and over again so it's really nice to have this one and this one lasted days in my house so definitely a great performer and i've been enjoying it and i have like four of these now in my stash so we're getting a collection here another one from the um harvest collection this year is peaks and pines this one has dewy greens, lavender, and cedar wood. I didn't think I was going to like this one. And on cold, I really didn't like it, like my first impression. But then when I warmed it, I was like, oh my God. Robin's correct. This thing goes for days. It's like the Energizer Bunny just keeps going and going and going and going. Especially if you have it in smaller spaces. I found that if you put it in a larger space, like if I was to warm it in my living room here, I'd probably get two days max. But if I do it in my bathroom... I can get like three, four days even. And that's like probably the fourth day. If I was to get that much longevity, that would probably be like shutting the warmers off at night. But it's such a pretty scent. It doesn't scream like Christmas tree or holiday. And I get like this sweet, icy like pine or spruce that reminds me of ice pine and mighty pine from Scentsy, which are just older retired tree scents that they no longer make um so definitely enjoying that this season another new release cherry chestnut oh i fell in love with this one black cherry roasted chestnuts and whipped vanilla the whipped vanilla note in here it reminds me of like sweet cold from that you get from like duncan and the chestnut is so good and the cherry you don't really smell it much on cold but when it warms it does come out and i feel like this is another one where it's vanilla base it's going to age better um because this is just a fresh pour right now but i've been absolutely loving chestnut this season chestnut this season for me and gingerbread seems to be the collective like okay we we overbought on those oils so let's just put it in everything <laughs> this bar though this next one mm, it is by far my favorite scent of 2024 the entire year cinnamon woods this is from our harvest collection it is bartlett pear cinnamon bark and sugared woods now i was extremely scared by this scent when i first saw the scent description before i even had gotten the bar in my hands because i hate scentsy's pear there's only very few scents and there's like three or four scentsy pear scents that i can tolerate and cinnamon bark i cannot with scentsy's cinnamon bark the scent that kind of scarred me on cinnamon bark is the harry potter gryffindor bar that one just smells like dog treats like i can't do it um so i was like really scared but when i smelled this i'm like okay it's not bad because you don't get any cinnamon bark and i don't get any pear on cold or on warm what it is is the creamiest and nuttiest like woodsy scent with some vanilla and i swear there's some vanilla in here it is just so creamy and like luxurious like that that's it's creamy luxury wood that is what it is beast of a performer goes for freaking days in my house totally would recommend this to everybody everybody so definitely get your hands on some um this is the scent of the month for october so this current month october of 24 vanilla chestnut this one's creamy chestnuts, sugared spice, and vanilla woods. So another chestnut scent. But the reason why I like this one so much on like cold, like my scent, is because it reminds me of falling leaves. And I really, really enjoy falling leaves. There is patchouli in here. I know Sensi doesn't say it in the scent description, but there is patchouli or some type of cedar or woody note in here that gives me that falling leaves vibe. This is an Amy scent, but it doesn't perform the greatest. I feel like I need to warm it a couple more times and because it's got vanilla i'm thinking that it might age a little bit better but i'm really enjoying it so far it's a like for me not an absolute love but i definitely couldn't do this video the cat's meowing um without mentioning the scent so that's vanilla chestnut and pumpkin roll 
pumpkin roll is pumpkin pie filling, yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. This is a late love for me. I never really enjoyed pumpkin roll or pumpkin cinnamon swirl. I always just wrote them off, only ever had testers of them, never cared for them. And then when we had the, um, the catalog bricks last fall and pumpkin roll was one of them, I was like, ugh, why couldn't it have been something else? Well, I had a friend order pumpkin roll like in a random six pack and I smelt it and I'm like, that smells completely different than my tester. So then I bought a bar and enjoyed it. So I'm like, well, next time I have a party close out, I'm going to grab a brick. So I did grab a brick. The brick smelled even better than the bar. So trial by error, I ended up liking pumpkin roll. Um, to me, it smells like if you were to get like cinnamon rolls, but like the inside, the cinnamon sugar inside, if that was like pumpkin pie filling with cinnamon sugar and like vanilla icing, that's what I'm getting. And I get a little bit of yellow cake too, but it's a very light performer for bakery. Um, so usually I'll warm it when I'm like home so I can enjoy it. I do usually have to use anywhere from five to six cubes in my large living space to get enough strength for me, but I do enjoy it. So it's definitely one that I like to keep a bar or two, um, in my stash, but I've been enjoying it. So last year and this year I've been enjoying pumpkin roll. All right. Now two, there's two more out of my top 20, but I don't have any bars. <laughs> so one of those is Autumn Hearth. Um, it's such an old Scentsy scent that they just keep carrying over and over and over. And I swear one of these years, um, it's going to go away. Like Autumn Sunset and Autumn Hearth are eventually going to get retired out of the catalog. But Autumn Hearth has apple and cinnamon and tonka. So Autumn Hearth is different from Cedar Cider because Cedar Cider has a cider note. But with Autumn Hearth, it that tonka does something to it where it's more deep and mysterious and like borderline earthy, like an earthy apple versus cedar cider where that's like a woodsy cider apple note. So I really like Autumn Hearth and I always try to at least have one bar in hand to enjoy. Usually in November is when I warm that bar. And then the other bar that I always enjoy every year is Autumn Road Trip. That one has Harvest Apple, Anjou pear and silver oak and the silver oak is what makes it different from like other scents like scarlet sunflower or golden garland or hay rides which is in our catalog um it just gives it like this fresh crisp cool air note to it and it's a great transition scent from summer to fall so I always enjoy it warming it and I have not warmed it yet um because I don't have any bars but I have to include it because it was one that I enjoyed last year and also enjoyed this year so all right so that's the top 20 but I do have 10 honorable mentions that it's not fall for me unless I warm these like I have to have them every fall and these ones might change I mean wh where these ones change all the time the ones that are in the catalog and LTOs and stuff like that. These ones here practically never change. So we'll get right into it. I mean, this one is gonna be like no surprise. I mean, can anybody guess just by the color? Midnight Fig. Earthy Fig, Golden Berries, and Musky Woods. This was in the catalog when I became a consultant in 2012. And that's when I fell in love with it and I'm still in love with it. It's such a earthy, saturated fig, and the musk and the golden berries just make it very bougie and sophisticated. It is a very earthy, sophisticated fig, I should say that, but definitely great for colder fall days or like rainy fall nights. I absolutely love Midnight Fig, and it cannot be fall unless I warm that. Another one is Falling Leaves. This is actually a new love for me. It was a bring back my bar last year. It's got clove, cinnamon, and patchouli. I was completely scared by it. And really, I didn't have that much of a great opinion of it the first time I warmed it. But then I warmed the rest of my clamshell. And I actually quite enjoyed it. So I've warmed it several times since. And I, it just keeps getting better and better every time I warm it. So definitely had to include it. 
The patchouli isn't scary in here, so don't be scared by that. And the clove and the cinnamon isn't an, isn't as aggressive as like clove and cinnamon. It's just like the right balance. So really, really enjoy it. And it's kind of like a nostalgia scent. Like to me, it smells like incense from like the 90s. Uh, warm pumpkin drizzle. This was a scent of the month for October of 22. It's got warm clove, cozy pumpkin, and sweet maple syrup. But back then, in the scent of the month flyers, they used to include like all of the scent notes. Like there used to be like three things that they would mention for top, three things that they would mention for mid notes, and like another three for base. So in that like breakdown, it also said there was maraschino, uh, maraschino cherries and pineapple. So when you smell it, you definitely get a pineapple upside down cake, but like with pumpkin. The melted butter in here is so gourmand and decadent. This is such a freaking beast of a performer. I absolutely love this. It's one of my more decadent pumpkin bakeries, but I love it. And it's in my club and it's not leaving, but it's one of my fall pumpkin favorites. It really is. And the cats are like fighting. I don't know where they went to. He's over there somewhere, but you can hear him. Um, this one, I was so super sad when it left the catalog. It started off as a Harvest Trio, and then they brought it to catalog, and then they retired it. And I was a dumbass and didn't club it. Luckily, my mom thought ahead, and she put it in her club. And she actually has a quantity of four. So every time that particular club comes out, she gets two and I get two. So, and that's Bright Cider Life. I don't know what it is about this bar. It's got spiced harvest cider, pumpkin, and red apple. Luna. Luna. Stop. It smells like bakery. It was in the fruity category, I believe, when it was in the catalog. But to me, this is bakery. It is bakery cider it's almost like you're drinking a hot apple cider and you're eating a pumpkin donut that's what bright cider life smells like to me i absolutely love this it's such a beast of a performer i get great performance out of it great strength great longevity and i have 10 pods in bright cider life that i'm continuously enjoying because pod form of bright cider life is just as good as wax form so but hopefully this will come back at some point. But I absolutely love it. Love Bright Side of Life. Mandarin Moon. This is my orange spice scent. Mandarin Moon is cinnamon, ginger, sweet orange, and star anise. So, oh my gosh. This one reminds me of Celestial Seasons Mandarin Orange Spice Tea. It smells just like it. And this is a little bit different from like other orangey spicy scents that we've had like um orange spice and everything nice which was a holiday brick last year sweet orange and palm mander which was a holiday brick um what else did we have i think there was another one more recently spiced orange harvest that came back and bring back my bar this one's a little bit different because it's got a sweet mandarin but then the ginger and the star anise kind of like give it a unique spice and it's not necessarily the same old cinnamon and clove and nutmeg. Like, it's a different type of spice. I really enjoy it. It's a great performer. I like mixing it in alternating warmers with Homestead Holiday, which is another um, retired bar that I usually do it in November. Homestead Holiday is more of like a winter scent to me than it is fall. But usually in November, I'll mix these two together. Painted leaves. I was so happy that this one came back in Bring Back My Bar a couple rounds ago. Um, this one has blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. Yes, there is a eucalyptus note with this, but I think it's because of the blue spruce that is just giving you like crisp, cold, wind, like late fall air. Like it's a late October morning and you're going outside for like a brisk walk. And you're like crunching the leaves underneath you. That's what this smells like. Phenomenal. It's like my favorite fall fresh scent. Painted leaves. I'm so happy that this came back. <laughs> so for years, I've been trying to figure out what was the pumpkin scent that I liked 
way back when and I've like tried all of them like I did pumpkin chai pumpkin tiramisu pumpkin roll pumpkin cinnamon swirl I like did all of them farm stand pumpkin porch pumpkin like tried them all to find out what one was the pumpkin bar that I loved because I could not remember the notes couldn't remember the name couldn't even remember when it came out right so when this bring back my Bart round came and I saw everything nice and I saw the scent description, I'm like, I don't know if it was that one. Well, everything nice has deep caramel, butter, roasted pumpkin and glazed pecans. The minute I smelled it, I was like, yep, this was it. This was it. It's a controversial one. Not everybody loved it when it came out. I do because of that butter, the caramel, the glazed pecans, and then the roasty, toasty pumpkin in here. Mm, again, it's another decadent pumpkin scent. Um, very strong. I get really good performance out of it. it. Usually lasts an entire day, but it's like at an 8, 9 out of 10 for strength. So love everything nice. Cannot be fall without that. Uh, Hemingway. Love Hemingway. Hemingway is ripe apples, sandalwood, cedar, and spice. It's almost like an apple woody cologne. The sandalwood really gives it like that touch of sophistication. I love Hemingway though. It's like, you know what it kind of smells like? It's like if you were in an old library and you were reading a book and someone had stayed the pages with like apple juice because they were eating the apple. And then you're getting like the wood from like the shelves. That's what that smells like. But love it. Ghostly greetings. It cannot be fall and it cannot be October unless I warm ghostly greetings. Ghostly greetings is black plum, spiced berry, and bourbon. I don't have this in my club, but my mother does because she absolutely loves it. And currently she has 13 of these in her stash. So I took one so we could just keep that unlucky number <laughs> away. But, oh my gosh, it's so good. It is literally like a deep plum. Like, deep plum with the bourbon. A little titch spice. It's so good. And it's very, very good for Halloween. I always warm this on Halloween night. So, or during the day, whatever. And then last but not least, to round out my honorable mentions. It cannot be fall without caramel chestnut. I am so sad that I kicked this out of my club, and I'm also sad I did not buy more bricks when they were available in clearance. Caramel chestnut is silky caramel, vanilla, and warm chestnut. There is just something about this. It, The caramel in here, it is. It is very silky and smooth. It's like a caramel that you would get like at a, like a high-end candy store. And the chestnut in here is glorious. I love the chestnut note in here. So I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I had more. This is all we have. Me and my mom shared this this brick. So that's all we got. So we've got a couple of years where we can just warm, you know, caramel chestnut. Like a day a season. But I would love to see this return. Either like an Ascent of the Seasons or another Holiday Brick LTO. Even bring it to catalog. I don't know. But that's going to round out my honorable mentions. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is my top fall favorites for Scentsy for the 2024 season. I did include 20 from our current catalog and current LTOs and then 10 honorable mentions from retired sense of yesteryear. So that way you guys can, um, see what my experience was with them and then decide if it's something that you might want to see brought back if they you know show up in voting for bring back my bar so let me know in the comment section what are your favorites for fall that you are liking right now and love to continue the conversation there like to see what everybody else is enjoying this fall season thanks for always liking commenting and subscribing and if you are newer to my channel and have not subscribed yet uh, please do so i promise you'll like my videos it helps out my channel love the support and all of that. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.